Welcome to the Murphy Robes How to Major video. In this video, we will explain how to measure for various Murphy Robes apparel. When you measure for robes, cassocks, or albs, there's a few items you will need. A measuring tape, a ruler, the Murphy Robes hanging wall chart, and your Sunday shoes. For quiet robes, you will only need two measurements, height and chest. Let's talk about measuring height first. Height measurements are required for all robes, cassocks, albs, surplices, and tunics, as well as some overlays. To begin with, find a wall. The person you will be measuring will have to stand with their back against the wall, so make sure there's nothing in the way. Next, take your measuring tape and measure four feet up from the floor and make a mark. If you can't make a mark on the wall, put a piece of tape there. Once you've measured four feet, it's time to hang your Murphy Robes wall chart. The bottom of the wall chart will go at the four foot mark. Have the person you're measuring stand against the wall chart with their Sunday shoes on. The feet should be placed together and the back of the head should touch the chart. Next, place a ruler on top of his or her head at a right angle to the chart. The height will be indicated at the point where the ruler touches the chart. Now record the height in feet and inches on your order form. Remember, always round up to the next inch. This measurement should be the person's full height from the top of the head to the floor with their Sunday shoes on. Floor clearance is the distance between the floor and the bottom of the road. The most common requested floor clearances are 5 inches, 7 inches, or 9 inches for choir and clergy robes. Chest or bust measurements are required for all robes, cassocks, albs, surplices, and tunics, as well as some overlays. Take measurements completely around the fullest part of the chest. Make sure the tape is high up under the arms and over the shoulder blades before recording the measurement. Please record this measurement in inches on the order form, such as 34 inches, 35 inches, etc. Here's a tip. Many feel the most comfortable way to measure a chest for women is to ask the person being measured to hold the tape to their chest in the front. You match up the ends in the back to get the actual measurement. Again, always make sure to round up to the full inch. Required measurements for pulpit robes are height, chest, and sleeve. Sleeve measurements are required for all pulpit robes and are recommended for choir robes for individuals who have unusually long or short arms. If the person you are measuring already knows their sleeve length, say they have a comfortable dress shirt and they feel good going with that measurement, then you can write that measurement down on the order form in the usual way, such as 32 inches or 33 inches. If you're unsure about the length you should measure, measure the sleeve. Raise the arm comfortably to just below shoulder level with the elbow bent at about a 45 degree angle. Place the end of the tape measure at the base of the neck. Extend it across the shoulder, down the arm and around the elbow to the wrist. Enter this measurement on your order form to the nearest full inch. Required measurements for cassocks and albs are height, chest, waist, hip, and sleeve. Band cinchers, clergy cassocks, and clergy jackets require a waist measurement that is taken over the clothing that will be worn under the item being ordered. For waist measurements, measure completely around the stomach at the fullest point. Enter the measurement rounded up to the next fullest inch on your order form. Measure completely around the body. When measuring for a band cincher, be sure to allow the fullness of the body curve in your measurements. As the band center is straight and wide, this measurement will normally be larger than the belt size customarily purchased. For hip measurements, measure over the clothing normally worn under the cassock or alb. Measure completely around the hips at the fullest point. Always round up to the full inch. 